All right, welcome back to another video. This video is the next step on me customizing the Tenera 700 and fixing one of the, to me, one of the ugliest flaws in the T7 design. As we all know, the OEM pipe comes really far from the bike center of gravity to the right side. And because of that, if I fall down, the bike is always the one that takes the first contact. It already has some scuffs in it. Uh, it hasn't taken any major damage, but some light tip overs here and there. So, and as you can see some over here as well. So the crash bars are doing their business, but so is the tailpipe. Today, I'm gonna go and get the HP Corsa high pipe installed and uh, I'm getting the tail tidy fitted at the same time so the blinkers won't won't melt with the new pipe and its position so let's get on with it let's get the pipe and I'll show you the results after it's finished Hi, <laughs> I'm just making a film at the same time. Welcome. <laughs> I'm in no hurry, so okay. take your time. Eh? Wow, nice. Cool. And very light. Weighs maybe two kilos. Something like that. Yeah. And here you have. You can see the Italian design. Yeah, you have yeah, the DP killer. You can Some people can, yeah, yeah, yeah if you, you want. You can drill it and then you can put a screw. Yeah. And yeah. you can remove it. Exactly, yeah. That's probably something I have to do. Cool. It's a nice looking pipe. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's the best uh, selling model of uh, HP course. Yeah, I bet. I'm changing this mainly because it hits the ground when I fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a little bit of a problem, but mm -hmm. this fixes it and it looks better. Yeah. And it's not too bad of a price. Yeah, yeah, it, I think it's a sweet spot. And there's the blinkers as well and the tail tighted. Yeah. at the quality of the weights. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. And there's carbon fiber. Yeah. This is it really carbon fiber? Yeah. yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not plastic. It's all the way. Really nice. And they have the part number and everything. And even the quality of uh, the, the joint here. This thing is Yeah, good. yeah. And it doesn't, you won't have problems with rust. And yeah. Yeah, it looks really nice. Okay, so there you saw the difference and heard the difference between the OEM pipe. Uh, there is the DB killer still installed. And I would say running it once without the DB killer at the store, uh, the sound difference is just that you get a little bit more bass and a little bit more sound without the DB killer. But the sound profile is pretty much the same. So I'm just gonna keep it in for now because it's legal right like this and uh, I like the, the sound is not too loud on the highways and when you're on the move 
but I like the pipe and the biggest difference to the OEM pipe is I think the pipe sounds bassy even when you go higher in the RPM range the OEM pipe sounds like uh, it starts to rattle and it loses the sound the bass sound when you go above 3000 I think so this pipe sounds nice even on the higher RPMs so I'm very happy with the purchase so let me show you the pipe a little bit better so yeah the pipe is very close to the tire but it's not hitting anything and the tail tidy really did improve the looks of the Tenere the rear section as it is from the factory is a pretty ugly if you ask me this is very clean and it comes down under like that so you take some of the OEM plastics off from under here and I think it's even better to grip when you put it on the center stand now because this is metal so it's not creaking and popping when you squeeze it but yeah that's how it looks from underneath and you can see that the HP Corsa finishing on the pipe is really good all the weldings and all all the markings and everything looks high quality look at the weldings there for example very nice titanium pipe and there's the product numbers all the details in my opinion this is the best pipe you can get for your Tenere looks wise and functionality but there is the MIV pipe that is pretty much the same and uh, then there is the Polish brand that I keep forgetting I'm gonna put the name here on the video but I think this looks the best and it's Italian HP Corsa I, I think it's just cool as cool as it gets and there's a little bit of a carbon fiber protector here for your so your boot doesn't melt against the against the pipe very nice the headers are still OEM as you can see there's the cat and you can lose about four kilograms when you change the header pipes if you if you want to do that but I'm still doing with the OEM headers I probably might think about changing them later but for now the pipe is Euro 5 approved so everything is street legal at this stage and I like the blinkers you can remove them they are plug and play so you can just grab it and get it off the bike but I am a little bit worried that when I go off-road they might come off so I did put uh, uh, zip ties here so they wouldn't wouldn't so easily drop off the bike but uh, I guess time will tell how good they are but the visibility is good they are way way brighter than the OEM blinkers of course there's a they're a little bit smaller but uh, the visibility is I think better than the OEM blinkers but I do still have the OEM ones in the front and I might change them to the same ones because it's a looks difference so but not on this trip I'm still not home so maybe later next summer I will order the same blinkers to the front section of the bike but I think the front blinkers are safe because they're so far apart so people can really clearly see and separate them from the headlight and see which way you are turning but yeah that's my short ramble about the HP Corsa pipe on the move it sounds very good and I will probably put a small clip of me driving uh, maybe later or, or on a later video or on my Instagram you can follow me there I did ask the store to modify this for me so they put a screw installed to the DB killer I can just remove it if I want to when it comes out of the box this is welded in so you can't remove it by tools you have to drill a hole and then remove it like that but right now as it is I can remove it if I want to if I go off-roading if I want a little bit more sound or if I want to test test the pipe without the DB killer I can do it just by removing that bolt there but yeah that's my final look at the pipe change 
that's how it comes underneath so it is very tight tolerances especially here against the uh, passenger foot pegs it is not touching but uh, there may be two millimeter difference there so it's very close the pipe that part There's the clamp. Yeah, I guess that's that's pretty much it. Here you can see the welds as well. Very nice looking work. Quality product. And shout out to the Motoholics Grease. I got some really good service from them. So you should, if you are in Athens anytime soon, you can just hit them up if you have any issues with your bike if you want to upgrade anything or do any any work to it they are just top-notch quality work in the in the shop i will put the link in the description as well so thank you motorholics grease for uh, hooking me up with this hp corsa pipe